deer plot, the, the wild animal food plot. I call it the deer plot because I know the deer are going to find it eventually. Almost everything has come up. I see beans, I see corn, and I see a couple of my Lady Godiva pumpkins that have come up also. I don't see any hoof prints, so the deer have not really uh, been through here. I guess that's good, it'll get a little bit taller, maybe they'll actually have you know, a little more to eat once it all starts producing. So, the grasshoppers have found it. <laughs> um, I don't even see where the rabbits have been over here yet, but the rabbits could also be eating soybean greens right now. You can see the mullein plant now. It's actually a little over a foot tall. Pretty soon it'll be taller than the stake, and I need to do a little bit more to clear the grass and brush around it. I'm eventually going to make a path to it and possibly even have other mullein plants grow. And like I said, I, I, I'm probably going to extend this area out here um, for more mullein. This is the tomatoes and peppers plot and the only thing that is up is a fake morning glory and some grass. Looks like something uh, burrowed in here. sunflower row looks about like I expected it to. I'm not going to go over there. Um, I doubt that I'll find many uh, stink bugs or anything like that, but I have put out a spray bottle with a little bit of uh, detergent and uh, neem in it, so if I find one, I can just squirt, squirt and take care of it. Um, I'm not remembering right now what I put in number 47. I think it's some kind of spinach, but that's what's in this big green plant pot. Uh, what kind of tomato is this? This looks like a pink brandy wine. Yeah, this is a pink brandy wine. It looks like a couple of uh, leaf cutter bees have come by and gotten some leaf to make a home with. I guess that's okay. This is a Super Sweet 100. Um, I bought a couple of these plants and I planted some from seed. So between the two of them I ought to get something out. This lid belongs to my little compost trash can over there and it's covering up the sweet potato bucket, but they look like they're doing splendid. This lettuce, which wasn't very uh, good for me, um, is going to seed, and the birds just ate it. it. It wasn't like the lettuce was bad, the birds ate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for these things to flower, and then hopefully I can harvest the seed. These pots are still empty. I have put nothing in them. These here, I now have Shepherd's Purse inside them. Look at this deal. I'm going to take some of this deal soon. That cilantro over there. Swiss chard, peppermint, more Swiss chard. I don't remember what I put in that one, but it, 
either hasn't come up or it has come up and and something weird happened to it. There's some more, uh, wait, I think that's time, and so is that. It's got a number 40 in it, so I'll have to look and see. It's some kind of herb. This big blue pot catches water. Now this thing has really shot up since it's been getting rain water instead of you know water from the tap but it's got a lot of little uh, pepper buds on it I raised this one I think since December something my citronella plants doing really well I'm gonna start tearing off a few leaves and dropping them into something you can see the carrots over there which every now and then I'll take one out but as long as they're gonna still grow for me I'm gonna let them Another tomato. What's in here? Sure hope I'm not about to let something that knocks this thing over out. Stand back. Nothing's in here. Guess it just fell over with the wind. This is a bleeding heart bush and I need to hurry up and put it where it goes. <laughs> Look at all those mustard greens over there. One of them, well, two of them are going to seed now. So I'm going to uh, get some of them while they're tender. Probably either um, tomorrow or the day after, and we'll cook some of them up. This catnip has exploded. And I couldn't be more thrilled. Oh yeah. Gonna take some more of that. We're getting some catnip tea, baby. Now why did I put some bush peas? I think they're Queen Anne or something like that. Bush peas. But yeah, I, I decided to see if I could grow peas out of this side of the bed. Looks like I can. Looks like I can. Speaking of peas, that bed over there is coming up. I threw marigolds in with them just because I want to plant a lot of marigolds. and I, I, I love marigolds. Granted, they seem to attract more bugs, you know, than they get rid of. <laughs> but uh, that's my problem. Now let's check out the potatoes in the trash can. If you will notice, they're flowers. Well, okay, they're not flowers yet, but they're flower buds. Is this where potato seeds come from? Look at that, there's a web. Somewhere in there is a spider. Who wants to stick their hand in there and find it? <laughs> not me! Not me! Oh, I didn't show you. Alright, see this right here? These two are yellow crookneck squash. The rest of these are like a red zucchini with um, some bush nasturtium, a couple of vine nasturtiums, but they're all coming up! Beautiful! So I'm not really trying to bore you, so I'm just going to keep this, you know, around 10-ish minutes. And I'll show you the other house tomorrow. Stay tuned.